From the rail yards to old motels on Central, the city has its hand in tens of millions of dollars in redevelopment. And we now know which projects they're aiming to finish up next. News 13's Chris McKee talked to the city about it. Chris? Yeah, the city's Metropolitan Redevelopment Agency has outlined a new list of priority projects over the next year, including new public plazas for Knob Hill and the West Side. They're also working on a handful of projects to open up new paths to and from the rail yards. And there's a lot of property owners along this uh, along this area that want to redevelop and by anchoring a big public investment, we will start to see those properties um, revitalized. Now that investment Karen Iverson is talking about is the rail trail project the city is prioritizing. It calls for more than a half mile long bike and walking pathway along the railroad tracks and First Street, which would connect the rail yards with the convention center. As for the rail yards, the city says it will spend the next year getting new tenants inside the fire station here and also the pattern house building here on the north side of the property. They're also working on revamping the entrance into the rail yards on First Street. Now in Knob Hill, the city is working to build a new plaza at the De Anza Motel, which is now with a dirt patch out front. The plan is to put an outdoor beer and wine garden, a dog run and game area there. And on the west side, the city sees a similar idea for the corner of Unser and Central. That's right near that newer library building. The city wants it to be a developed place for restaurants, retail and food trucks. The MR program is really going at full throttle right now. Over the past 20 years, we have had an impact of uh, $520 million worth of investment in the community. And this past year alone, we have $120 million. Now, the De Anza project is the next one that is expected to come online, that is expected to be complete by spring. The city says each of these projects has the funding or at least some of the funding it needs to start building. Back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. The city's focused much of its public funds on apartment buildings recently. Collectively, they've added around 400 new units to the west side, Knob Hill, and the greater downtown area in the last year.